Hi and welcome to Shorts in Psychology. In the previous video, we looked at the different components of operant conditioning. Today we're going to examine some of the different schedules of reinforcement that can be used and their effect on acquisition and extinction. Schedules of reinforcement are the precise rules that are used to present or remove reinforcers following a specified operant behaviour. These rules are defined in terms of the time and or the number of responses required in order to present or remove the reinforcer. Different schedules of reinforcement produce distinctive effects on operant behaviour. If the behaviour is reinforced every time it occurs, it is continuous reinforcement. When the responses are sometimes reinforced, sometimes not, a partial or intermittent schedule is being used. Under continuous reinforcement conditions, learning occurs rapidly, making it essential during the acquisition phase to create a strong association between the behaviour and the response. However, when the reinforcement stops, extinction also occurs rapidly. While initial learning is typically slower with intermittent reinforcement, it produces greater persistence, in other words, a greater resistance to extinction. When subjects are switched from continuous reinforcement to no reinforcement, they extinguish quickly, often after less than 50 unreinforced responses. Extinction following intermittent reinforcement can take thousands, even tens of thousands of responses. Schedules can also be changed during the learning process once the desired response is consistently occurring. For example, a continuous schedule may be used initially during the acquisition phase, after which a partial schedule will be adopted in order to make the desired response more resistant to extinction. As already mentioned, partial schedules only reinforce a small fraction of the subject's correct responses. Partial reinforcement schedules specify which responses will get reinforcement in terms of time or the number of required responses. Interval schedules require a minimum amount of time that must pass between successive reinforced responses, for example, five minutes. Responses which are made before this time has elapsed are not reinforced. Interval schedules may specify a fixed time period between reinforces, known as a fixed interval schedule, or a variable time period between reinforces, a variable interval schedule. Ratio schedules require a certain number of operant responses, for example 10 responses, to produce the next reinforcer. The required number of responses may be fixed from one reinforcer to the next, a fixed ratio schedule, or it may vary from one reinforcer to the next, called a variable ratio schedule. Examples include fishing and gambling. Like the fixed ratio schedule, the variable ratio schedule produces high rates of responding because reinforcers increase as the number of responses increase. Let's look at an example of each of these four partial reinforcement schedules. If we look at the top two examples, they are both ratio schedules as an nth number of responses are being reinforced. The subject is receiving candy per house or every 50 pulls of the slot machine. The bottom two examples are both interval schedules as a minimum amount of time is passing before reinforcement is received. The subject is being paid per hour and the fish is biting on average every 20 minutes. The two blue examples are fixed schedules as the reinforcement is being administered by the same amount of time or behaviours each time. The two red examples are variable schedules as the amount of time or behaviours being reinforced varies each time, hence the average is given. If we look at a graphical representation of each of these four partial schedules, the reinforcement is illustrated on each line as a blue dash. In fixed schedules, this occurs at even intervals on the graph, whereas it is different each time for variable schedules. Each of the four partial schedules of reinforcement produce different rates of response and level of resistance to extinction. Variable ratio schedules support a high and steady rate of response and thus is the most resistant to extinction. The power of this schedule of reinforcement is illustrated by the gambler who persistently inserts coins and pulls the handle of a one-armed bandit. Fixed ratio schedules support a high rate of response until a reinforcer is received, after which a discernible pause in responding may be seen, especially with large ratios. Salespeople who are paid on a commission basis may work feverishly to reach their sales quota, after which they take a break from sales for a few days. 
Fixed interval schedules produce an accelerated rate of response as the time of reinforcement approaches. Students' visit to the university library show a decided increase in rate as the time of final exams approaches. Lastly, variable interval schedules produce a steady rate of response. Presses of the redial button on the telephone are sustained at a steady rate when you are trying to reach your parents and get a busy signal on the other end of the line. Let's conclude by applying this theory to a couple of past exam questions. Pause the video while you answer this question. This question is a straightforward knowledge and understanding question and you could describe a continuous schedule or any of the four partial reinforcement schedules here. For whichever schedule you choose to describe, Two marks are for your description of the schedule of reinforcement and the other two marks are for your example scenario, illustrating that schedule being used. For example, a variable interval schedule reinforces the desired response after varying time intervals. For example, an individual checking their social media accounts on average once every 40 minutes. This question is a little bit different to the first. Pause the video while you complete it. Rather than simply describe a reinforcement schedule, in this example you need to apply your knowledge to identify what schedule is being used in each case. For part A, it is a fixed partial schedule as the reinforcement of free coffee is being received every five times. It is a fixed ratio schedule as the reinforcement is being given after a certain number of operant responses, cups of coffee purchased. For part B, it is a continuous schedule as the reinforcement being picked up is being administered to the baby every time it cries. I hope this has helped you to better understand the different schedules of reinforcement. Feel free to comment or post questions below and thank you for listening.